Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is this quite large snowflake. This is a, this snowflake consists of one round. So it's, we work a little nub, then we work our petal, and then we repeat. Nub, petal, nub, petal, little nub, petal. And so on and so forth till we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six petals. And then, of course, right now it hasn't been starched yet, but once this gets starched, it's going to be beautiful. So keep an eye out for that video when we, we're going to starch the first, second, third, and fourth um, snowflakes, okay? So, you obviously, like I said, you guys, are in the intro video, you guys can use Red Heart Super Saver yarn for this, and I'd say a four and a half, five millimeter hook. But today we are using the... Red Heart Super Saver Classic Crochet Thread in size 10 with a 1.75 millimeter hook. And you're going to need a stitch marker. And you're going to need one of the little size 22 or number 22, I should say, needles. that I got these at Walmart. And a pair of scissors. And then everything you're going to need to starch them. So this one does get a little confusing. The hardest part, honestly, is when you work, let me get this put up, when we're working these, all these picots and chains, so when we chain, work a pico, we chain a long one, come back down, uh, slip stitch, then we work our other, other pico, and then we chain our long chain to come back to our beginning ring. It does get a little confusing because it's going to want to twist and, you know, loop around on you, especially when you're on, like, let's say the fifth pedal and you've got all of this down here to, you know, try to work through. Just use your stitch marker as a guide, you know, try to mark it to the front so then you, whenever you, you know, you, uh, you work that last chain and you're coming back to your ring, you can say, okay, well, I need to move this around and this is how that ring's supposed to set, or I'm sorry, stitch marker's supposed to set, so there's my front of my ring. So that way we're not twisting any of our petals. Okay, let's get our stuff together and get started. Okay guys, to get started with our third snowflake, we are going to get a slip knot on our hook. I am going to bring you guys in just a little. There we go. Okay, we're going to get a slip knot on our hook and make sure you have enough tail so we can weave in that end. Alright. Okay, so we're going to start with a chain of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to bring that down, slip stitch into our first chain to form a ring. Tighten that first chain and there's our little ring. Okay, now we're going to chain one and then we are going to single crochet right back into the ring trying to make sure you work over your tail. And now I'm going to mark that first single crochet with a stitch marker. Okay, there's a piece of fuzz that, there. Okay, so this, this snowflake is six petals, right? Or six points, I'll say. Well, there's also a little nub between each um, petal or point. So the repeat for all six of these petals is going to be the nub plus the petal. And I say nub, it's a little bitty nub. But So this is the beginning of the repeat, okay? So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to come down and we're going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from our hook. I'm going to get a needle out so I can use it as a pointer. If you guys can hear that, I'm sorry. I have my window open and there is a truck that is like gunning it all around my block, it sounds like. 
<laughs> okay, so we're looking for our fourth chain from hook. So that's one, two, three, and four right there. So we're going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from our hook. Now, it, working with thread, if you guys are making with this with yarn, you probably are not going to have this problem much, but when you're working with thread, if you don't pay real close attention to how tight you have this um, first loop, it's going to be real hard to work your slip stitch. So what I do is I just take that first loop with my nails and kind of pull it down a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> that was weird sounding, but then I let it come back up and then you can work that slip stitch a little bit easier. All it's doing is like, so how my crochet hook is thinner here, but it gets thicker here. If I pull it down and then come back, my loop is thicker. So that's just a little trick that I do to whenever you have a pattern that's got a lot of slip stitches in it. It helps if you um, just pull that first loop down your hook a little bit and it'll loosen it up. Happens all the time. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We slip stitched into the fourth chain from hook. So now we're going to chain one. And then we're going to come right back down into our loop, a ring, I'm sorry, and work a single crochet. So there's our nub. And now we're going to start on our petal. Oops, Daisy. Okay, so we are going to start with a chain of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And now we're going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from our hook. So one, two, three, and four. So we slip stitch right into that fourth chain. And remember, if your first little loop is a little tight, just pull that down a little. Ooh, about lost my pen. All right, now we're going to chain 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three. So now we're going to slip stitch into the twentieth chain from hook. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't want to count 20 chains down here, right? So if I, we just chained 23, right? And we need to slip stitch into the 20th. Well, what's 23 minus 20? Three. So if we come down here and we count, I'm trying to hold all this at once. If we come down here and we count one, two, three, the fourth chain up, is our 20th chain. So we should have three chains remaining. So instead of counting 20, I'm going to come back down here and I can see, I can see right there is my single. Here's my first, second, third. So the fourth one is my 20th. So I'm going to come down and slip stitch into the one, two, three, and four. Oh, come on now. There we go. Slip stitch into the 20th chain. So I'm just going to take that loop, pull it down a little bit. And it makes that slip stitch a little bit easier. Okay, so now we chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from our hook. One, two, three, four. It's a little too tight. There we go. Okay, so now we are going to chain eight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're gonna come down and single crochet into our ring and make sure you're going over that tail. And there we go. That is our first petal. I'm just going to call them petals. I know that it's a snowflake and flowers have petals, not snowflakes, but it's just easier for me. So when we, the beauty of this snowflake is going to be when we block it or stiffen it. But the way it's going to be shaped is it's going to come up to a point and then we're going to take like it'll be here and then we're going to go out like this but it's going to be more more pointy than that and then we're going to take these two little nub little picots here and then we're going to pull them out a little bit and then it's going to make this really pretty spiky snowflake Okay, so that is the repeat. I'm going to work this. I'm going to work it two more times with you guys. So I may, I, so I feel good that you guys have a good understanding. So I'm just going to scoot everything over and we'll fix that later. Okay, so the repeat starts with a chain of five because we start with our little nub down here. One, two, three, four, five slip stitch into the fourth chain from hook so that's one two three four that's a little tight for me so i'm gonna pull that down obviously still a little tight <laughs> there we go now we're going to chain one and come back down here and single crochet into our ring making sure you're working over that tail i about missed mine and there's our single. And now we start our petal. Just so chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I lost that. 12. Okay, so now we are going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from our hook. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that one right there. There we go. And now we're going to chain 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And now we're going to slip stitch into the 20th chain. But instead of counting 20 chains, if we start back here, and if we can identify that first chain, so there's our single, or our slip stitch that we made, the little pico right there. There's our chain one, two, three. So the fourth one is our 20th chain. Right. One, two, three. Get in there. There. There's our 20th. Good grief. Okay. There's our 20th chain. <laughs> now we chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch into that fourth chain from our hook. So one, two, three, there's four. And now we chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we come all the way back down 
and single crochet into our ring. Make sure you're over your tail. And there's our second one. Okay, so there's, I'm gonna work it one more time with you guys so everybody understands. Scooch that over. So to start off, we gotta make our nub. So we chain one, two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch into the fourth chain from our hook. And then we're gonna chain one and single crochet back into our ring. And there is our nub. So we start our petal, which starts with a chain of 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we're gonna slip stitch into the fourth chain from our hook. So one, two, three, and right there is the fourth. Now we chain the 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three. So now we come down here and we're gonna slip stitch into our twentieth. Well, I don't want to count 20, so I'm going to come down here and count 1, 2, 3, and the fourth one, which is right there. Yeah, we got that, is a slip stitch. Okay, so now we chain 7. 1, 2, 3 four, five, six, and seven. And we come down the big old piece of black fuzz. And then we are going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from our hook. One, two, three, and four. And now we chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we come down here. And we single crochet. And that's the end of our repeat. So we have three petals right now, okay? And three nubs. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys off camera work this three more times i'm just trying to scooch everything over for a minute work this three more times and i'm gonna meet you um right after we work the chain 23 slip stitch into the 20th chain seven slip stitch into the fourth and i'm gonna meet you right there right before we work this ending chain eight okay so work that that's three four five six and I'll meet you right after we work this Pico, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I've worked one, two, three. There's four, five. Four, five. There's my sixth nub, my chain 12, slip stitch into the fourth, chain 23, slip stitch into the 20th, chain seven, slip stitch into the fourth. So now we chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we come all the way down here. And what we're gonna do is slip stitch into that very first uh, single crochet we have marked with our stitch marker. Take that off. 
get this back on my hook and we're going to come down here and slip stitch okay so that is our snowflake now if you want to use the little christmas these Christmas ornament hooks, you guys can, those of you that choose to, you guys can chain one, pull up a loop, cut, and weave in your ends. But if you are choosing to use the thread, go ahead and chain one, pull up a loop, and somebody started mowing next door, pull up a loop, pull it up pretty high. I'm going to back you guys out a little bit. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna cut, pull it out. All right, now we are going to get our needle. Actually, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna go shut my window since he's mowing. Okay, you can probably still hear it. Um, it's not really much more I can do. I'll try to talk louder so he can't hear it. <laughs> All right, so with our, you know what, let's just weave in the middle one first, get it out of the way. So I'm gonna get my needle loaded with my thread here, and I'm gonna run it around the center, and I'm gonna try to run it under the legs of all these single crochets. Sometimes it doesn't want to. All right. I got it going. I'm going to go through just a few of them. And I'm going to pull it, but I don't want to completely close this ring up. I want to leave it a little open. I'm going to call that good. And now I'm just going to go right back and go the opposite way through a couple legs. it tight and be done with that one and then we are going to work our loop to hang our petal now it, yes right now it is a little bit of a mess but once we starch this and it lays nice and pretty it's gonna be beautiful I promise you guys okay so what I'm gonna do is get my tail on my needle and I am going to bring it I'm going to come to the back and I'm going to bring it down through a couple stitches and I'm going to go down the center uh, single crochets I'm going to pull that through just until that tail pops through and then I'm just going to pull my needle up the tail a little bit. Now I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to lay it out. And I mean, when we starch this, this is going to be, those petals are going to be about that high. So I kind of want to come a little bit higher on my loop. About, uh, I'm going to pull that back a little about right there I think that would be nice all right so now I'm going to just where is it at I'm gonna just hold it right here so I don't lose the length of my loop okay and I'm gonna come right back in a few and then it's gonna lock itself down right there and we're done and we cut And that's it now keep an eye out for the video when we are going to start this okay because it's gonna be great sorry I got a little preoccupied messing with this <laughs> okay guys so yes it does a little look a little wonky right now but just wait till we start this 
Okay, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Check out the description box. I got links to my Facebook group. I got links to my uh, Instagram account, my Twitter account. Follow me on there. Join that Facebook group. And uh, my email address is down there too. If you guys need any help whatsoever, email me and I will get to you as soon as I can to help you out. Um, of course, you guys know you're the greatest. You all know that. <laughs> So subscribe if you haven't, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think about my little snowflakes, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!